And we're entering top eight finally. We are. In the most bizarro top eight bracket we've had in such a long time. Oh, he is. He's out here. <laughs> what is he doing? He's fluttering, I guess is the most accurate way to describe it. Fluttering? I don't know. Is that a thing nest mains do? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Callus post pre match and post match calisthenics. Very good way to guarantee that you don't get a cramp in bracket. And you also look like an ass in, in bracket. So, entertaining for the whole family. Is he doing lunges? Yeah. Do his stretchies. Right. So, yeah, Epo and Chris and top eight. What a wild ride tonight has been. Although, I will say I'm, I'm happy for, for Ippo, who is, I think, the undisputed king of, you know, ninth and 13th place. So for him to have, like, just the right luck and just the good play to get himself into top eight finally is a good showing. Because I feel like it's been a long time since we've had a cloud up here. Ooh, and that might be the reason and a miss. Bit unfortunate, but he gets limited constantly, so he'll be fine. As long as he makes these edge plays count against Chris, and Ippo just stays safe, he'll have no problem maintaining advantage. But good luck keeping Chris out. Especially loser's bracket Chris. Especially post-stretching Chris. Where's he going? Oh You'll my love God. to see it. Was that really worth the 20 damage? Yeah, it was safe. Uh, he wasn't getting punished down but there. But he could have just died off the bottom. You'd be surprised how well practiced that is. That, however, a bit of a flub, but we always take that. That air dodge is huge, but not huge enough, I guess, this time. Yeah, nah. Wasn't in the cards. See, now the flash isn't worth it. Now it is, as we look at an even game. A mere 6% don't mean nothing. Ooh. I love seeing that. Up be out of shield in this game is crazy good, and I feel like no character can abuse it as well as Cloud can. Cloud's definitely on the top of the list, or towards the top, for like, like good up ease out of shield. Clemhauser just reaches so far on the start. Yeah, if you find yourself losing to a Cloud in bracket often, uh, try to bait their up ease out of shield and punish accordingly, because it, it's, it's hard to punish, but you can do it. Like, there's plenty that Cloud can do to oppress characters. Like, a lot of his aerials are good at max distance on shields. He still has no trouble with racking up damage. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that was also cool. uh, I, You hate to see the messy play, though. Does his uh, PK Flash still have only one active frame? Because it looks like it kind of could have connected there, but I guess not. I don't believe it's active. I know it's not active for that long, but it is safer than past iterations of Smash. It's been progressively getting to become a more and more usable move over time. Good. And as we've seen from Chris, there's ways where you can implement it using it to stall his recovery or to mix up his edge guards. Like, it, it has utility. <gasps> that was so smart. Oh, my gosh. And that's one of the blessings of using Psy Magnet as one of your main movement options. Like, sometimes you just get Psy Magnet. Very nice angle. Oh, <laughs> pretended to be robbed for a second. Angle check. <coughs> Ippo was not having any of that. Fresh he saw stock. that PK Thunder start. Is mm mm. Oh, I liked how he covered those options and he like autopiloted into the the lock. Yeah, but you know, like it was so far away from where Ippo rolled, it was so safe. Like sometimes you pick that hard committal option that like can't be punished, and then you're better off for it. You know? Right. Oh, game. Oh. game. <laughs> it's over. I guess. Dang. All what right. The heck? Uh, not the best of DI, but I think Ippo also pressed a button out there, and that, now you've shifted him into the blast zone. I oh, know, he, he looked like he went flying. Oh, he definitely did. The, the DI definitely was not helping him in that situation. <laughs> Bring ourselves right on back to the stadium. Mm -hmm. He could have gone for Smash Bowl or Battlefield, though. I feel like those would have been better just for keeping Chris out of the air. Or at least making him pay the price for getting into the air. Nonetheless, Stadium's not a bad stage either. I just feel like Chris has a very good way about how he moves through the stage. Well, Ippo needs to keep the damage race in his favor, though. I feel like while the stocks were tied for the most part, like, Ippo is not winning out as far as, like, getting the damage and making the, that stage presence really count. He, he is swinging and trying to control space, but 
Chris is doing a good job of like stuffing his jumps by putting out a big side magnet right where he wants to be in the air. Ooh, another good example of stuffing out a jump like that. Ooh, Ooh. caught him with the loop de loop. That was almost a PK Thunder too. Mm hmm. I like how he kind of forced a bad up B option. Uh, wasn't able to cover it, but I like I respect that he's going for these uh, uh, like cover options. He's forced out all the bad habits, but Ippo's doing a good job of making sure he doesn't get too heavily flustered. I can't believe this is free. Yeah. I mean, he gets limits, so that's probably something he has to consider. Like, is it worth him it, just shield? Oh, that was yeah. not worth it. That was bad place. That might have been a miss input. Ah, nice Wait. patience. Waits for the uh, bad in-between stock jump. Mm, good get-up attack. Oh, I love that cross-up, but Ipa was ready for it. That's the thing. Is that, <laughs> oh, so Chris goes for the, the cross-up so often on shield, I feel like a lot of people catch on to that, and some characters can just act accordingly. Yeah, and like, I'm surprised we haven't been seeing more. Yeah, there they are now, up out of shield, because you can use them to combat cross-ups by using a uh, you know, reverse up out of yeah. shield. Yeah. So here they come. And now Chris is taking a bunch of damage for this. Uh, Ipa is forcing him into the corner, and... Uh, Chris barely finding his way out with this nice string. All right, that was cute. <laughs> I like the air dodge. I said, I'm not involved. Please don't. Yeah. Mm, nice. Oh, and again, another case of bad DI. He's trying to DI out of the PK fire, and like I think he just holds out too long, and it's uh, impacting his DI on the on the final hit there. See, that was much better DI from, uh, from PK Chris. Oh, but look at how much limit he gets out of that. Yeah, he's able to generate limit often in this match, especially because of how Chris is handling the matchup. But I also feel like he could be doing more with that limit once he gets it. And, you know, he's able to generate limit fairly passively, too, just because Chris uh, Ness takes so long to recover just by the nature of his uh, his upbeat. It's almost like uh, like you'll see the same thing as Samus. Like, Samus will, like, just a slow-moving character patiently and, like, slowly drifting back towards the stage. Cloud loves that kind of stuff. Says, I'm going to smack you off the stage, and uh, I get free limit. Look I'm also that. liking this recent adaptation we've seen from Ippo, where he's using cross slash in neutral. Yeah. It's got great distance to it. It's covering the aerial options from Chris, and look at the damage it's racking up for Ippo. That's a runoff B, right? Runoff? No. Don't get hasty. That's what I like to see. Smart move. Hey. That'll do it. Oh, Ness was not happy. <laughs> I love his facial reaction. And the crowd is starting to go off. And the stream tech's starting to go off. <laughs> this is what the people are always hounding for, especially in a bizarre bracket like tonight's. You've got people who don't often pop up in the top eight. This bracket has been truly haunted. Yeah, you know, we couldn't get our tournament to happen on a Halloween, but we definitely brought the ghastly, uh, the ghastly results to match a Halloween bracket. Mikey decides to show up, says... Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a ghost of Aeon past right yeah, there. Literally a, a zombie of a, of a relevant person. <laughs> a true haunting in the works. Yeah. Crews building up on both sides mm -hmm. for game three. And as a note to those who don't tune in often for Aeon, uh, we are not in best of five territory yet. Best of five is exclusive to winners, uh, finals, losers finals, and grands. So this is end of the line for one of these guys. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> I uh, This is the third time that we're on this stage this set. Do you really think this is, like, in their best interest? Well, they both seem to be handling the stage itself well, and I feel like they don't want to move the, the odds too heavily into one another's favor. You would think that would happen in Game 3, but I feel like anywhere where Ness wants to go, Cloud doesn't mind too badly. Hmm. Plus, this stage seems to be a preferred one for Chris. Every time he has... Uh, pick advantage. He tends to bring people to PS2, regardless if it's a good decision or not. I actually don't know if I like this finesse. Cloud, when Cloud when he has limit, very fast character. He can kind of cover this stage much more efficiently than... Uh, that was a beautiful play from Ippo. You know, it's not often I get to say it, but I like saying it here in top eight. And the crowd is absolutely popping off right now. Oh, just barely enough. Yo, never Slides right out of that corner, too, and he's back in it. Forward throw. Uh, I, I like not that option, though. No, but it, it helps reset him off stage, which 
did eventually lead to the kill yeah, pretty quickly at that too. No but damage. Throw, but back throw would have killed at that percent, even with that awful stage positioning. I don't think he would have had time to get the pivot grab out though, because he did dash under. To no, get I'm the just saying back throw from the left side to the right side. Like, oh no, yeah, that would have killed as well. But you know, in the heat of the moment, yeah, whatever yeah. gets the kill gets the kill. You know how we brought it up in game one, how like it was really like the damage race that Ippo needed to uh, maintain and he would have been good? Yeah. He's been doing that since game two in a really good fashion. He's sticking to center stage really smart. He's Ooh. not getting too hasty with his kills, I say, as he pulls the trigger too early on a limit cross slash. But like, he's retreating. He's not trying to double dip. <laughs> I like that down tilt that uh, PK Chris threw out just to kind of claim that space as you have to tech in now, otherwise you're going to hit with this down tilt. But it was non-committal, was able to uh, follow up after the roll. Bro, and this is one of those ankle biter characters. If you're not ready just to get checked by a tiny hit, you're not playing the matchup right. Right. Like, even if he doesn't get anything off of it, he's stopping you from playing your game. Ooh. Deepo just letting them rip those up smashes, just saying, you are not coming off of this platform. It's the pressure of the moment, man. He's one stock away from advancing his way through loser's bracket, causing a Pretty strong upset as far as seating's concerned. Ooh. Chris not looking like he's having any of it, though, as he tries to set up for his next kill. Ooh, wayward hitbox in there. Is not going to be able to get the kill. Despite losing limit, Epo is hanging on to this stock. Oh. You say as he gets eradicated by the size 3 Nikes. <laughs> yeah. All right, do or die for these boys. I like how Chris is taking a lot more of a, a more patient approach. We don't often see him camp a ledge or plats, but oh, oh I love that he's idea, a mad man. That would have been so sick. Oh, he's out of there. That's damage. He needs yeah, that man. right now, even it's, up this game. It's not even just the damage; it's the disruption factor. The fact that he's able to keep on interrupting Chris means that he's able to get these second leases on life over and over and over again. Evo has been mashing Pummel when he gets these grabs, and Chris has so far twice now escaped from grabs. So he needs to reconsider his grabbing options. Oh, shouldn't have gone for the full cross slash. All right, that's this is. Uh, that was potentially the last limit of the game for Ippo. Oh, he's just throwing out F smashes now. He needs to collect himself. Oh, great, great air dodge. Gosh. That was really close. Let's see if he can do it again. He's just reset off to the other side of the stage. And forward air manages to pick uh, off he Ippo. He read the jump. He wants the handshake. Respectable enough. Ippo still smashing.